Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I'm Char, and today we're going to talk about gas or the lack of gas. Now, me personally, disclaimer, I'm not the news. <laughs> I'm not a scientist. I'm speaking my own personal opinions about the matter. And that's just that. Now, I'm in North Carolina and we ain't got no gas. <laughs> uh, it started yesterday. Uh, I didn't even know because I don't know if you guys know or not, but I've said it plenty of times, but I know some of you are new subscribers. We don't have cable. We let cable go last year. And our thing was it was cable or internet. And because my husband was real serious and committed about, you know, having a ministry on YouTube and making sure he can post his videos and stuff. And then I was starting um, YouTube. He was like, all right, we don't need cable. Cable ain't all that anyway. We'll just get some other means of entertainment that we can have in a company with the Internet and save money. And that's what we did. So and I have been fasting and praying. So I have not been attentive to my phone like that. So it wasn't until my husband hit me up um, in the afternoon and said, go get gas. There's a gas shortage. And I said, one, I can't go anywhere because I was waiting for the boy's mom to come. And two, what? <laughs> and he was like, and I said, are you sure? And that's not me, you know, calling him ignorant. That's just me like, one, that's a huge deal, right? Everybody needs gas to function, right? Um, So I didn't want to just be like, oh, let me go get some gas. And it wasn't that deep. But come to find out, and, and I ain't gonna lie, I didn't realize this until like I got back from getting gas that there's not a gas shortage. There was a, a gas blockage and the flow of gas was restricted. So it wasn't that it wasn't there because there's a huge difference between gas shortage, meaning, oh, gas is about to run out and then there's not going to be any more versus, oh, it's blocked. We need to get it unblocked. And I've seen several many posts and this is the craziest world we live in, y'all. Last days, for sure. Anybody can make an article. Anybody can make a post. And people can just run. Like, oh, did you see that? Oh, did you know that? Like, even with the um, string of satellites. That was big, right? Everybody was panicking. Oh, what is that? True story. Um, Saturday night, um, as we was closing up my son's birthday party, we was going out the door to load everybody in the car so everybody can go home. And we saw the string of satellites. And even the kids was like, aliens. We're on an attack. I'm scared. Everybody's crying. I'm like, I'm sure. Now, I said I thought it was military related. Don't know why I thought military. I don't know. I just always go to them because they do things and then we don't know. We find out later and that's all for security purposes. And I totally get that. But kind of find out it was satellites or satellite links, whatever. And I was like, okay, that makes sense too. But guess what? There are still people that say China doing something, Russia's doing something. It's like, bruh, you have to learn stuff for yourself. And I understand some things you probably like, well, how I'm gonna figure that out. Pray. <laughs> like, ask God what's going on. And it's just sad. But anyway, so as of right now, we actually do have a gas shortage because people have bought up all the gas that were in the lines. So, this has put a damper on me and my plans because I actually had planned to mail off some things and now I can't. But, as you see by the thumbnail and there's plenty of other pictures of people getting barrels and buckets and stuff. Now, this is me. You have to take the good with the bad, right? Now, I will hope this situation will kind of get people to understand the importance of having a gas jug because it's convenient. Like if something happens, you get, you miss your exit, you're traveling and your gas gets low or it's late and the gas station is closed, then you have backup. And most people that have lawnmowers here in the South, we kind of understand that in general, like, Hey, always keep gas in the jug. I know my mom does. She has like two or three of them and she always keep them full because she's cut grass. 
Um, but even in a situation like what's going on now, y'all, like I hope people really just um move better. Cause I know even me personally, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna stunt. My husband fussed at me all the time because he said, I'm always running around here with a quarter tank like it's going to last forever. And I don't ever fill up. I just put enough gas to go where I'm going. And sometimes I don't even do that. That is true. So his whole thing was he knew I ain't had nothing in my car. So he's like, go get gas. And I'm just like, <laughs> what makes you think I need gas? <laughs> but he knows his wife. And now I ain't going to lie. This, uh, this it's not scaring me, but this would help me to be like, you know what? All right. I guess it is a little dangerous to come home on E because you never know what's going to happen. But I'm still not about to go out here and break my neck and fill up 10,000 jugs because my whole thing is just like I need gas, somebody else needs gas, you know? And we know it by scripture, um, just reading here, 2 Timothy chapter 3, that in the end, people can be loving themselves. People can be thinking about only them and what they need. And that's just what it is. And I know people say, everything got to be wrapped around religion. My friend, <laughs> this Bible is here for a reason. It is to help us. It's to warn us. It's to teach us. It's to correct us. So, yes, if something's going on in the world, I'm going to go back to the Word of God. And that will help me, you know, pass righteous judgment on what's going on and what I should do about it. Because panicking and buying 10,000 drugs is not Christ-like to me. It's not Christian-like to me at all. You can talk all you want to. Being prepared, yes. Like, even when I was telling y'all I made a video about the three days of darkness, which I got to make an updated video because some other information has come out. But you don't want to be naive, right? You don't want to be walking in ignorance. Like I think everyone should have backup food. That's just me. And everyone should have non-perishable food in their home in case hurricane, tornado, flood. We done seen it all. We done been it all. I done been through Hurricane Isabel, Hurricane Floyd, Hurricane Katrina. Like I done been through all of them and most of them left us without lights for a little while and we couldn't go anywhere. So I personally understand the importance of having non-perishable items in my cabinet. And I will tell anybody that. And like I said, I did feel an urgent desire and I still don't feel bad about it of preparing. Now, I said it has absolutely nothing to do with three days of darkness because I don't believe in that. And guess what? Honey, boo boo, child, they were saying it's going to happen on um, Easter. Oh, you, you want me? Okay, just in case you didn't understand it. Um, today is May the 11th, and it's going to be a full moon tonight. But <laughs> but by now, people were saying that on Easter, which was last month, that there was going to be three days of darkness. There's no three days of darkness. And it's getting to a point where it's like, I'm joking, but it's really sad because people really do believe this stuff and people do panic just off word of mouth from just a regular man. Now, some may argue that, you know, and I even thought about this, like if say everybody doesn't hear the trumpets, right? Which we know that's not true, but it would make more sense to say, hey, did you hear those trumpets? You know, like just have a conversation to make sure that it wasn't just you. But something that you have absolutely no knowledge about, like this gas thing, you don't know. Why even make a post? Why even say anything? Now, I understand personally wanting like your husband, your spouse, um, your children, your family members personally. But when you put things on the Internet, you want people to panic. Like people are going to panic. They're going to uproar. They're going to act foolish. Just like with a toilet tissue, just like with COVID, with any of these things that people are so fearful of because they don't understand, it's going to go way left. And we have to be careful about that. So I would say my words of wisdom is to pray even before you post things on social media, pray before you share stuff. And this is something I had to learn the hard way. There were some things I told y'all I was sharing and come to find out that it was Illuminati affiliated or um, black Hebrew is white affiliated. I'm just like, see, and now somebody be looking at me like, oh, she confused. She don't know what she believe because she's sharing some of their posts. And trust and believe, if it was obvious, I would have paid attention. But it could have been something like, you know, cherish your fan, you know. And then had a little logo in the corner, and my tail ain't got no glasses on. I didn't even see it. But let's chill out. Let's pray. Let's not panic. Let's be careful about what information we receive from who. 
And we all know this getting to a point now where it can't even be what the pastor said or the first lady said because people are walking in darkness and it's so obvious. And you want to make sure that whatever someone's saying or whatever's being discussed is from God. And the best way or the best um, knowledge or wisdom I can give you in reference to that is get to know God for yourself. Do that. Pray, fast, read the word of God, and be led by the Holy Spirit. So, don't y'all go out there about a thousand cans. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.